Am I the a-hole for wanting to go to the funeral of a girl that I helped get addicted to I'm 26 and clean from hell for three years. I was also a piece of and used to deal for a while. I managed to get with a beautiful girl named Marcy when I first started getting into the thick of things. She knew who I was, but she said she loved me. I will regret this for the rest of my life, but I was the person who shot up Marcy for the first time. After that, there was no stopping her. She stuck around with me, probably because I was her dealer more than anything, but then I got clean and never saw her again for a long time. A year ago she reached out to me on Facebook and told me that she had been clean for a few months, and she said that she didn't hate me for what happened and she hoped I was still clean. Last week I got a call from my sister who told me that she saw on Facebook that Marcy had OD'd, and there was a funeral service this upcoming Thursday. I immediately just burst into tears because I hoped that this would never happen and I feel so much guilt over it. I want to go to the funeral service for her, but I'm afraid that my presence would be unwanted. At the most I would just slip in the back, pay my respects and leave. I need to do this for myself. Am I the a-hole for wanting to go? Update, since I received such great advice on my original post, I felt like I had an obligation to update and I'm trying to follow through on all aspects of my life, even internet ones. The funeral service was held this past Thursday. Before then, I brought all the advice I received online and brought it to the real world, and talked to both my therapist and sponsor about how I was feeling, and what I should do. My sponsor was straight with me, and told me that I would be putting myself in danger by going, and that I should do something else that day to grieve. When Thursday rolled around, I was a mess. I seriously considered both just going to the funeral or using again, but instead I grabbed my dog and we went on a road trip. We went to the beach and just hung out the two of us. I'm doing okay this week, but obviously I'm still not doing great. I haven't reached out to any of Mars's family and I don't plan to. I understand now how devastating that would be. That's it, take care everyone. No, you are not the a-hole for wanting to go to the funeral. It is understandable that you would want to pay your respects to someone who was a part of your life, especially someone who you feel a sense of guilt and responsibility towards. It is brave of you to confront your feelings and try to find closure, even if it means facing potential backlash from others. However, it is important to also consider the potential consequences of your actions and the impact they may have on others, such as Mars's family and friends. It may be worth reaching out to them and expressing your condolences and regrets in a respectful and non intrusive manner. Ultimately, the decision to attend the funeral should be based on what you feel is right for yourself and for those involved. Am I the a hole for leaving a vacation I planned for my GF after her friends came along? My GF, Sarah, and I have been dating for five years, and I wanted to go on a vacation with her to celebrate. I planned the trip for several months, of course I shared my plans with her, and decided on skiing, snowboarding, and other winter activities in Colorado. The activities seemed perfect, and I was looking forward to this for months because I wanted to propose to her at the end of the trip. Five days before the trip, Sarah dropped the ball on me that she invited two of her friends to meet her there. I was upset because I wanted to spend one colon one time with Sarah for our anniversary. I feel like it was plain and clear that this was a trip for just us. Even though I expressed my concerns, Sarah insisted that her friends already made plans to come and won't back out. I decided to accept this because there was no way for me to force her friends to not come, I wish I fought more on this. I figured we could make some changes to our plans, and I would still be able to propose to her privately. Sarah essentially blew me off for her friends and we didn't get any private time. After three days of being in second place, I decided to leave the trip and head home. I told Sarah why I was leaving, and she was upset. She told her friends about my decision, and I was ganged up on. They said we were all having a great time. She thinks I'm being a jerk for making her pick between her friends and me, even though her friends weren't invited in the first place. I never had personal issues with her friends prior to this trip. I never made Sarah pick between me or her friends because everyone needs friends outside of a relationship. I'm at home now and thinking about everything. I have a day to myself before Sarah comes home, so at least I get to relax a bit. Sarah and her friends think I'm overreacting and think I ruined the trip. I think Sarah was disrespectful and rude to me by ruining the purpose of this trip and having her friends gang up on me.
Am I the a-hole for leaving a vacation I planned for my GF after her friends came along? It's understandable that you were upset that your romantic trip with your girlfriend was compromised by her friends joining, especially since you had planned to propose to her. However, leaving the trip without giving your girlfriend a chance to discuss the situation with you was not the best approach. It would have been more appropriate to talk to her about how you were feeling and come up with a compromise that works for everyone. By leaving abruptly, you may have caused unnecessary stress and ruined the vacation for all parties involved. It's important to communicate your feelings and work towards a solution instead of just walking away. So, while your frustration is understandable, leaving the vacation without discussing it with your girlfriend first may have been an overreaction and could make you seem like the a-hole in this situation. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell icon to enable notifications and stay updated with our latest videos. To catch up on all the stories, you can access the playlist located at the top of the description.